Now we're gonna be taking a look at the most foolish crash by a spectator I have ever seen in the Tour de France. So let's jump right into it. Now I always hate to make these videos because I don't like to glorify crashing, but it's very important that we try to learn something from this crash and see how it could have been avoided. And in this situation, it could have been avoided 110%. This is the silliest and most foolish crash I've ever seen in the Tour de France because of a silly and dumb spectator. The spectator is holding a sign by the side of the road trying to get on the camera and ends up taking the front wheel and handlebars of Jumbo Visma rider Tony Martin and it causes an insane crash in the whole peloton. The whole peloton goes down and the sign says Ale Opi Omi. Who cares what your sign says? They're so happy to hold it and takes out a rider and you can see Tony Martin probably has somewhat of a concussion because of this crash. So just, just incredible. You can't even avoid that because the foot of the spectator is on the course. So there's absolutely nothing that Tony Martin can do. And you can see all of Jumbo Visma going down. And that is just tragic because it can take out a GC hopeful like Primoz Roglic that is sitting in the train. So just... It, it doesn't make sense. Fans need to understand that racing is serious. They are going fast and they can hurt themselves. They can seriously hurt themselves if they crash because of stupidity like this. And sorry my language, I'm just getting so upset right now because there's no reason why you should be putting your hand on the course when these riders are going 45 to 50 kilometers per hour. It is just unnecessary and not needed. Watching the crash in slow-mo, Tony Martin sees that there's nothing he can do to avoid the crash and he's gonna have to take it at full speed and it's just so unfortunate that it just takes out his front wheel, his handling, and he goes down, hits his head on the side of the road sideways. So just so unfortunate. And you can see the damage that one silly mistake by a spectator does in the entire peloton and the thousands of dollars that have now just been wasted because of one spectator. There are so many bikes and equipment pieces that are now just broken. So was it really worth it to have Ale Opi Opi? Like what does that even mean and who cares because now you've you basically wrecked hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment for a sign, for a cardboard sign with marker. Absolutely inexcusable, so silly. I would like a full investigation for the spectator because you can really hurt someone in this situation. And for riders that have been preparing their whole season for the Tour de France, is just unexcusable and it can't be happening in the sport. So I'm very heated right now. Just, I wanted to show you guys how this can be avoided and it's just, don't be on the course. It's that simple. You see the road, you see the grass, stay on the grass. Don't come close to the road. Don't try to reach out. You know, I've been to pro cycling events and fans are so silly. Like they really don't understand these are human beings that can be injured. So by me making this video, it's a big PSA. If you ever go to a cycling race, please do not go on the course. Don't try to touch riders. Don't try to put a sign on the riders. Don't try to get close to riders. Just leave them alone. Let them do their thing. Let them do their job that they get paid for to pay for their families. So just leave them alone. This is, this is, I'm so, so upset right now because crashes like this are just not needed and I've crashed in the past and to get up, you don't feel good. So you can only imagine if you are a GC hopeful and you crash pretty bad, you're not gonna be in the best of form and this can affect your Tour de France. So I hope you guys enjoyed me breaking this down, but I just want to make this video to tell people, don't go on the race course ever, ever. Please like, please subscribe, stage one recap coming soon, and until the next one, keep on pedaling.